I'm here at the Forest City Johor Bahru, which is a residential development which is kind of almost abandoned. The project was pitched by China and the construction began as early as 2006. It was dedicated for upper class to middle class Chinese citizens who wanted to come here and settle abroad with their wealth. Behind me are these skyscrapers, which looks kind of creepy because they're abandoned. Well, not fully abandoned, but almost abandoned. So what went wrong? Why is this amazing, beautiful place abandoned? This is why I'm here to find out. All right, walking down this beach, I can only see a couple people behind me, which is from the water resort. People who are actually curious and came to see this place. I see skyscrapers everywhere over here. It has a really interesting architecture. You can actually see Singapore on the other side. It's right across the water. A place like this is just forgotten and left abandoned, almost abandoned. There is just nobody around. It is very sad. So the question remains, despite being this place being so nice, uh, why this place is so abandoned and dead? And why haven't the local people bought it yet? The properties here are too expensive to be bought by the local people. And foreigners see this as a bad investment, which is why most of the people haven't bought and you see this place pretty much empty. Well, honestly, walking down here, I don't think this is Malaysia. It kind of looks like a Bali or I'm in a five-star resort or some sort. Walking down the beach, there are palm trees all around. Pretty much very peaceful environment and it's a good place to chill. Lots of drunk people just dancing around here. So there's a duty-free shop here which, is, which means alcohol. People just come here to drink and stuff and I can see a lot of drunk people here. Those guys behind me were really drunk and yeah, I don't want any trouble so a lot of people you see over here come here for drinking which kind of make this place a little shady one, hey one, one, one hey there are a lot of drunk people around here so i'm here in this random shopping lot looks like the construction has not been completed and i just got approached by these shady people trying to ask me what i'm doing here Malaysia's $100 billion project was supposed to be a luxury paradise for many, but instead is deserted and abandoned and full of empty skyscrapers. Take a look for yourself. Although this place looks really amazing and peaceful, but it has a kind of creepy vibe to it. Despite being there's nobody out here, this place definitely looks creepy. Taking a closer look at this building right here. All right, I'm here on the back side of the uh, skyscrapers and it is absolutely quiet over here. There's nobody around and this is really interesting. It kind of looks like uh, creepy, apocalyptic movie vibes. There is furniture and stuff all over inside, just left abandoned. Look at that. Th this part definitely is not being maintained. Whoa, lots of unfinished stuff over here. Oh my gosh. There is a furniture inside. Okay, this is locked. There's a lot of interesting architecture and places to see here. Like this abandoned car in the middle of the beach. It's, and I can see some people in the background drinking. So what went wrong? The sales eventually collapsed after the Chinese leader implemented the currency control, which is how much you can spend outside the country, $50,000, which is not much, which resulted in a lot of people not purchasing the property. Walking down through the parkway, which leads through the beach, it feels like a resort. I mean, it is a resort, it's just with not a lot of people. Laboratory, interesting. This is cool. It reminds me of Inception. These empty abandoned skyscrapers behind me. There's a yacht over here by the forest city, which doesn't look like it's been moved in a while. The fact that this place is called forest city is living up to its name, even though after it's abandoned, it really gives you the forest city vibes. 